Okay, and here we are for some more Cthulhu Saves the World. And we're in Providence, the birthplace of H.P. Lovecraft, whoever that is. He's your maker, sir! I threw a ball in this well, and I still haven't heard a sound. This wall must be crazy deep. Now I wish I had my ball back. Oh, why did I throw my sole source of entertainment into a stupid well? Because you're a dumb kid. Childhood is hindsight, buddy. And hindsight's... 7058 or whatever your vision is. Ah! It's a giant walking sword. Get it away from me. We have the ruler of insanity and she picks the sword to be afraid of. Don't worry. I still think you're terrifying. I don't need your pity fear. Poor Cthulhu. Umi just loves you, Cthulhu. You should be a little more accepting to her advances. Love is a uh, is a sought after thing, my friend. Oh, hello. I love to read. What's your favorite book? Fatagan Yuzidvids Plazivid. Huh? You should read it sometime. <laughs> that sounds like a heck of a book. If Cthulhu thinks it's good, it's probably pretty mind-alteringly horrifying, I would say. Little girl by the ocean. I love the sound of the ocean waves. As do I. This isn't the ocean, folks. Trust me. I lived there for countless aeons. What if it is the ocean? But it's a lake. What's this? Ooh. We'll come back to that. And this fellow? If you go around the lake, you can find a ranch with a crazy old kook who thinks aliens are abducting his cows in a plot to take over the world. Isn't that the craziest thing? We should check it out. If there really is an alien invasion, you could become a hero, a true hero, by foiling it. Foil it? <gasps> they sell cups here, too! Oh, no cups. The other day, I saw some strange lights above the ranch on the east side of the lake. I hope nothing untoward <laughs> has happened to the rancher. I like the way you talk. I'm sorry, but our fine establishment has a strict no-shirt, no-service rule. No shirt can contain the awesomeness that is Cthulhu! Kind of how I feel when I go to the beach. Can't can't contain my awesomeness. Got to take off the shirt. Well, let's keep poking around, see what we can find. Another house. It's a small little town of Providence. Alonalinia. Alonalina. That chick had an unfortunate name. Lena grew up here. She was such a cute little girl. Now I hear that she's running around in a band of heroes looking for some magical crystals to save the world. I'm afraid she's dead, ma'am. Maybe we should go on a quest to gather magical crystals. It's what all the cool heroes are doing. Been there, done that. Crystals are overrated. Pass. Yeah. Atta boy. Don't fall into the Final Fantasy vibe and just go looking for crystals. That's for new age people. Gypsies. Gypsies like crystals, right? And... What's this fellow have to say? The Itzumaki stew here is incredible. I never thought I'd be a fan of giant mutant snails, but they taste so good. I agree. Snails are delicious. Free room and board. Save? You know what? Let's save after we buy weapons. Although I just got a bunch of new weapons. I don't know what I could find that would be all that good. So let's go over to this place which sells a sword. And we'll do some purchasing. I, uh... I'm going to skip the purchasing, and I'll be back with my new stuff. Okay. Here's what we got. Cthulhu. Got an ancient sword, which is pretty nice. Especially because I was using the Bane sword this whole time, which wasn't helping much at all with the... Being that they were undead. Well, maybe it helped with some of the ghost dogs. He's going to put his ancient sword on. Uh... I think he's still wearing an astral tunic, yeah. Umi still has her poison trident, but I got her a new dress. Yeah, the mage dress. Very nice. Sharp. Got the harm blade, which is 130 strength. He's going to be doing a lot more damage. And I'll just rely on multi-strike to get my hit counter up. I was kind of enjoying that better anyway. And a gold hilt. In October... 
Got the Toxic Tome to increase her poison ability, because she has poison. So, she can make up for the fact that Umi doesn't have the poison dress on anymore. So, let's do some selling. Woo. Goodness gracious, I didn't realize I had this much stuff. Wowzers. 112, whoa, 11,215 gold. Gold! Solid gold! Alright, let's go to the end and save, and then we're gonna head around to look at that farmer's field. I'm all about the farmer's field. Can I save, dear innkeeper? Hello, shopkeep. Save. Where were we? Right here. And without delay, on our way. It's a nice little rhyme that I made up for leaving towns. We're going to be beamed up into a st ah, ship. All right. On our way around. Ooh, look at that crater. Why I oughta. Ooh, look at these guys. Dem bones, huh? Alright. Let's see what we can do. I wish I had my undead blade now. Oh, well. Hindsight is childhood, and childhood is 2080. Or whatever the saying is. Oh, they're nothing. Oh. Take that, chumps! Cannot possibly combat the magic of Cthulhu. And we're at a nice farm. What's it called? Ranch. Mmm. I like ranch. What do you have to say for yourself? Those blasted aliens keep stealing my cows! Luckily, I have a good supplier who keeps replacing them for me. But it's getting annoying. Aliens? Ridiculous. I wouldn't be so sure. I'm an alien myself. We should investigate. Let's check out the cows. Umi is always the optimist. Those poor cowies. Moo, cows. Moo. Moo. And take a look at the cow. A tractor beam appears and pulls the cow up into the air. It can't be. A tractor beam appears and pulls you into the air. Ah! I'm too young to die. This is kind of fun. Inside the alien ship, a green cat-like creature approaches. Ooh, the cats of Ulthar. I've been waiting for you, Cthulhu. Pause! Long time, no see. How's life on your home planet of Ulthar? Violent as ever. Good to hear it. So what are you doing in this next of the galaxy? My people have sent this ship on a mission to take over this world. By abducting cows and injecting them with DNA mutagens, we have been creating an army of immense proportions. Before long, we'll have enough firepower to take this entire planet with ease. We can't let you do that. Tell him, Cthulhu. You're a good guy now. I'm afraid it's true. I know. I've been monitoring you. That's why I brought you here. I've grown tired of the Ultharians' constant warmongering. Please lend me your aid in foiling their plans. I thought you'd never ask. Why? It'll be just like old college days. Fighting against the establishment, not taking guff from no one. Indeed. Pause the alien cat has joined your party. Awesome! We're letting a cat join us now? What next? I am an Ultharian, not a cat! I have certain special powers that will come in handy. Whoa, I've never seen a cat do that! Not a cat! Stop it, guys! Pause is not a cat. He's a big kitty. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. In order to stop the Altharians from conquering this planet, we'll need to make it to the bridge. There are a series of electrical force fields we'll need to deactivate. Follow my lead. Follow the kitty! Oh, that poor cat. <laughs> Only four characters can be in 
your combat group at once. To change who you'd like to fight with, select the party command from the main menu. Keep in mind that characters who are not in the active combat group will still gain XP at the regular rate. Experiment to find out the best group for the situation. I will do that. So, first, let's save. So, right here. Then let's look at our party. Now. So, Cthulhu is always there. Umi is there for healing. Uh, let's add pause in October. We'll get rid of Sharp just for this one time. Yeah, pause has got some good strength. Oh, nowhere near as high as Sharp, though. Better agility. And better vitality. Better will and magic as well. He might be a better fighter. Uh, not going to do as much damage, but he might survive longer. So... That's always key. Uh, okay, so for the next video, we will be exploring the Ultharian spaceship with Cthulhu, Paws, Umi, and October. So until then, you guys be excellent to each other, and I will see you next time. Whoa!